do not judge me. I can explain myself. So I'm clearing out my wardrobe, that's why it looks like this. I attempted it, then I changed my mind. I'll show you what I'm wearing, I'm gonna give you an update. Um, I've just got out of the shower, Xmas is a bit bad. So let's have a little chat about what the vlog's going to be about. So it is Tuesday and I decided that enough was enough when it comes to having the house not organised. I'm one of those people that really have to have the house organised, like a showroom, like a show house. And I've been working so much, can't find a cleaner. Um, I've always done my own cleaning really because I like it. But it comes to the point where when you take, it takes a good two days to clean the house. And that's not with organising or anything. And it's just not realistic to take that much time out of work. And I honestly need to do it like once a week. So I've just decided that I'm going to do it and I just have to reorganise myself. So at the moment I'm doing the cleaning. I start about 8 and do it till 1 o'clock in the morning. And I've done that for three nights in a row. But I feel great. Everything feels so clean. So I've been doing that the last three days. I've for a change been prioritising the cleaning and the organising over work. I mean I've still done a lot. I've still filmed two videos. Um, been on top of my emails but nowhere near as much as what I normally do. I've left the worst till last, which is this room, and there's a reason why I can't do it. And it's one, I don't have enough space. Like, look at that behind me. So the only way around it is, I've got two ways around it. I need to clear out, like I'm sure I can get rid of about 30 pairs of jeans up there. Look at that, I'm surprised the row hasn't exploded off. Look at the jackets as well. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot. I've already started. There's some really cool things that are going on my Depop. I've got, like they're really good for things. I've got two Zimmerman dresses that I love. I wore them both like maximum three times. I've got these gorgeous Zara boots. Um, just I need to make room. Oh, they're so good. Um, got some Marc Jacobs jewelry, Valentino shoes, Le Boutons, Givenchy boots. Um, I've got these amazing Chanel trainers so they'll all be on my depop or my instagram stories i just need to make some room really i'm gonna clear i actually already did clear these off um and the other reason why sorry jumping conversation the other reason why i am not motivated to do this room is because after three years of living in this space i've changed it twice i finally worked out what i want to do i've been toying with open open wardrobes or closed I've decided that I prefer the open wardrobe but I used to clean out this wardrobe like every I probably look so unflattering I used to clean it and clear it out every Friday but I don't have the time and since I haven't done that I've noticed that the it gets more dusty and I do dust it with a feather duster but I'd rather just not do that so I think I'm going to have doors I'm going to design them myself I've come up with some of it is like my idea and the rest of it is just in inspiration from Paris and stuff like that as in the place Paris. Um, so once I get that done, I'm not really motivated enough to reorganise this when I know that in a month's time I'm going to gut the whole room out. And I've finally chosen the floor that I want. Um, so yeah, but I'm just going to make it look presentable. Here the mirror's going, I've already told you this, and I'm going to have more storage. And the sofa's going, which was always going to go. And we have more hanging space there. So really looking forward to that. But for the time being, I'm going to clear out this wardrobe. I'm not going to film it. Is that a mark on my favourite Chanel bag ever? Oh, fantastic. Great. How the hell did that happen? Sorry, my battery ran out. I went and put some washing on. Anyone would think that we have a family of five, but this is Paris wearing his three outfits a day. And then I made a smoothie. I... I haven't had it the last few days and I really noticed with my X-Men this is celery, matcha powder, ice water and a ginger and apple shot. So I'll have that. I really want to get in the zone with cleaning and if I vlog it, I feel like it will be boring but most of all I can't get in the zone so I'll be worried about the camera and where to put it and making sure that you can see it. Then I'll run out of battery, then I'll run out of an SD card. So let me know if you want to see just an organising video but for now this is going to be showing you the before 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 and then hopefully if all goes well i'll show the art after and maybe i'll even show you my beauty room but i think that will take me two days so don't get your hopes up 
Then I'm going to show you a delivery that I got from Louise Via Roma. It's two amazing pieces. And I'm going to talk about what I've got on pre-order. Then I think that'll be more than enough for today. And then I'm seeing my mum in the morning, so I might carry on the vlog there. I'm also going to show you all the bits that I'm going to sell. And you can direct uh, contact me directly. I'm going to be selling this. My college bag. I love... Oh, I love this bag. Look at that dust on there. Uh, that's how that's how much I haven't touched it or used it and why I want to sort out the solution of the dust in here because if I can't manage to clean it every week that is what happens on the on the lower shelves so these I use all the time so they're fine and you can imagine that these two bags are the exact same size as this and a similar family color so although I love it I always reach for that one then that's my second choice that's my third choice and that would be my fourth, so I never actually use it. So there's some really great pieces. Um, you can email me on claire at chouquette.co.uk. So let's get on with this cleaning, organising. And, um, yeah, that's what today's vlog's going to be about. So it's a bit of everything, and it's me, what I do in the week, when I basically forcing myself to have some time off work. And in between, I am going to be doing all my emails and everything. And I've actually worked last week more so I can compensate for doing this so okay let's get on with it I'm just trying to get out of it really aren't I I'm actually going to show you all the other bits so that's my washing that I have dried and cleaned it's sort of towels socks underwear one of my worst things in life is pairing socks I bloody hate it um so I have to tackle all of this this is me throwing things out of this room because I've run out of room. Don't be scared what I'm about to show you. So it looks worse than what it is, but I did a knitwear haul. <sighs> I'm out of breath, just three steps make me out of breath. Um, did a knitwear haul, couldn't find something, and that is what happened. And then I just thought, and there's some clean towels on there as well. And I've made that a mess because I was getting my perfume tray out. So I need to reorganize that. Um, ignore the floor here. This is the result of like beauty products being spilled, um, champagne popping and it stains the floor, but it's all being replaced. So I just need to pull all of this out. This is my knitwear wardrobe. And then jumper wardrobe, I've got so much knitwear, hence why everyone calls me uh, the knitwear queen. Evidence. So I just need to get on with it and clean this all out. And I think I'm going to just have to get rid of half of it. I'll give some to friends, family, put some things on, like the expensive pieces I'll put on South at Depot, um, on my Insta story. Um, and then a few bags for charity, I think. So, yeah, this is the before of the beauty room. And my God, do I need to clear out that? I have to do it. There's so much makeup in there. There really is. And I've got double this in another room so finally i need to um tackle that i mean i don't know what room to start on i think this might be this mm, this will be longer because i'm not making any long-term changes in here i think i might use this as a video all in itself actually uh but yeah the other room is going to take me so long because it's not ready. I'm getting out of it again. Right, let's go on with this game. These are all the bags I've decided to sell. It's probably the most ruthless I've ever been. So, grey, large college bag. Details of the pricing will be in the um, description box. My beloved yellow velvet. Chanel, I am very unsure about this. I have two that I'm unsure about. One is even on my handbag shelf. I love this. I love yellow, vel yellow velvet. There is ever so slight colour transfer, but not really. It really is the best boy bag I've seen, so I'm really unsure about that. It's so good for summer and so good with yellow. And for a yellow bag, it's quite durable. I feel the same about the denim bag, but I just have to be ruthless. So amazing two chanel boy bags valentino two valentino rock studs um Givenchy boots chanel boots louboutins and one more bag i'm gonna get now so i've decided i think i'm going to show, sell my chanel gabrielle backpack just because 
Oh, it's so hard, and I'm, it's, it's another one that I'm, if I don't get any offers, then I'm, I'll am happily keep it. But I'm just not reaching. It's just that I love my Hermes bag so much. And then, you know, like this section here, I, and that, I love my trendy. And I always go for them, but if you want a Chanel bag, these are really good prices. The backpacks are probably entry prices, so it's good for someone who wants to try out a backpack and you know have a Chanel bag and it's nowhere near they're like half the price of a trendy or a classic flap like that but they still fit loads in all of mine come back come with a dust bag authenticity card so yeah all the description for everything I'm sending will be in the description box below now the shoes I actually I've only just done the shoes actually so I don't even know why I'm bothering I don't have enough room for everything so it just constantly looks like a mess so um, I'm just going to clean the shelves, but actually it's going to look the same, so I only did it last week. I thought this would be a good time to show you my new shoes. I wanted these last year in the black and white, and I also love the black, I love the boots. And when I saw these, funnily enough, I actually bought them to go with, actually I didn't buy them, that's a lie, I bought them with... It's not why I bought them with a PR gifting voucher, um, so I didn't buy these with my own money. It was with a voucher that was given to me by the PR team. I actually had this in mind, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't get rid of that. But that is actually why I ordered them with cropped uh, denim jeans. I wear a lot of denim. I'm going to try them on later to show you what they look like. But for now, I'm just going to find a nice place them in my wardrobe. And they run true to size, by the way. I just love these little kitten heels. It makes it so, so easy. Comfy, I meant comfy. You okay, Bandu? Should you put those there, the new ones? Fave shoes ever. I knew this would happen. I knew that I would, I can't just tidy. I have to get everything out. Look at me. It's half nine. I had to stop a couple of times for like important work stuff, but I'm 80% there. These two, well, that's actually going to be three bags. And that one is charity. And I reckon I'll have about another two more. It's really good stuff. There's like stuff with labels on, stuff that I've only worn once, some decent stuff, anything that's bad and tacky and gross I've chucked. These will be going, I have one, two, three net porte bags of like Alice McCall, Sandro, one teaspoon, Valentino shoes, YSL shoes, they'll be going somewhere to sell. I'm not doing that, hell no. Um, I'll link below where that's going to go. Do you like this that I made? got all my shell like sea jewelry and it's not gonna go there it'll go somewhere else and then that's all my high-end designer stuff so I'll either sell that myself or take it to somewhere which again I'll leave in the description box below I'm on dresses Paris is making pancakes because it's pancake day look at my love check fancy stuff um, I'm halfway through dresses I've got blouses to go long dresses Designer coats and coats. Designer jackets and coats. Oh, and the beaded jackets. There's quite a lot. And this has got to go. So that's still going to be a mess. But bags all done. Let me take that out of the way. Bags all done. I feel really happy about that. I'm selling five bags that I showed you. Okay. And shoes are done. They look pretty good as well. They look better because I've taken those out to sell I've taken out Christian the boutons like some really good shoes that's more than enough shoes for one woman okay I'm gonna eat my crepe and then come back I'm also selling my Chanel what do you call this watch it comes can you hear me it comes as I bought it I love it but I always wear this watch so it's like new, it's the automatic 36mm, comes with extra links, authenticity card, booklet, the two boxes, 
I'll leave that one in the link below because that's definitely a good little buy. And I have a Chanel bag as well, a brand new one that I can give you. I finished. Look at me. I have showered. So it is, I've got it on um, shuffle by the way, but I do love Acon, I'm not going to lie. Quarter to, what's that flashing? Quarter to midnight. I'm exhausted, honestly, I'm exhausted, but I can finally start filming. Oh, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to Hoover. I didn't manage to do the coat corner, but that I can do that in the morning. And I'm not happy with it because... I know I want something here. I want hanging space down there, new floor and doors. I mean, I don't particularly mind that, but the corner units I don't like. They don't work for me. So yeah, storage here, storage there, hanging space here. I've got a great idea for a mirror. I'll show you soon, but let's have a look at it. I'm just got to Hoover. So shoes all done. And I'm sorry I didn't film every second of it, but it was such a big job. I just had to get in the zone. There were my hangers left over. Um, this is in my wedding vlog, so I will link it for now. But I did do a wedding vlog that I still haven't put up. And I just looked so awful last year. I, I don't really want to put it up, but I will. Don't worry. Oh, I've just realised I didn't do the designer jacket section. Um, I'm not getting rid of anything there, so I'll just tidy that up. Do that. Hopefully I can get rid of a few bits there. Um, managed to do all of that. This is the t-shirts that I wear every day, so I roll them up. Which I literally just live in black, white and grey tees. These are all my going out tops. So like blouses, vintage tops, lace tops. Oh. Why is that happening? Oh, it's those hangers. I've got hangers everywhere. These are like some Zara jeans, spare hangers. Yeah. Look at them. my jeans, so much better, aren't they? Put some knitwear up there, so I started the knitwear. What we got in here, this is random stuff, like some jumpers. It started off as summer dresses, and then I had a few like festival bits. But yeah, it's mainly holiday stuff that I don't really wear that much. And here are all my denim shorts. That's a Bauman dress that takes up so much room. I've put it in there. More hangers. I'll link those hangers below, by the way. They're really, really good. Done my vintage stuff. I've done my black trousers. And I'm gutted that I, um, I've i lost a, my favourite pair of black trousers. I'll link them below. I cannot find them anywhere, but they are still in stock. So I'm going to buy myself a new pair. But I've limited that down massively. I think I showed you my, what do you call it, sea life kind of jewellery. Oh, I started, my scarf, I started putting these in. I'm going to do the rest tomorrow. They're just something like a pound a pack. Can you see the difference? It's just that you need so many. So it makes it look a lot better. Um, jewellery. I've got so much jewellery. And just if anyone has any ideas... This room has fireproof, bulletproof windows and um, an extensive lock system. So, ooh. just in case anyone gets any ideas. All my sunglasses. Don't really like this drawer. I don't even really wear sunglasses that much. Um, here's all my dresses, all sundresses. As you can see, I do everything colour coordinated. And here are all my shirts, blouses, some hoodies at the end there, long dresses. And I managed to find a place for my knee-high boots. Um, that shell chair will stay there. All of this stuff I'm selling on Insta Stories. Um, I'll leave the, just the items below with my email if they're still there. And yeah, that's it. I'm just going to... Hoover everything now. That's a new hoover we got. It's really, really good. I love it. It's like an industrial one. Um, so, yeah. What do you think? To me, I mean, it looks tidy. But for me, you know when you know you're going to change something. So, I just, for me, it just looks a mess. Because I know all the changes I want. And it's taken me three years to plan. But that's that. And I'm going to show you a few bits in the morning. And probably leave it there. And then we'll continue the beauty room in another vlog. 
And if you like this one, I'll do that one more detailed. En mi habitación, yo, 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 y con mi canción, yo, 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 haciendo el amor, 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 amor. Es que quieres ser, pero estás con el baby. En mi habitación, yo, 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 y con mi canción, yo, 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 haciendo el amor, 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 amor. Es que quieres ser, pero estás con el baby. Jesus, God, oh my God, I look terrible. So it's midnight, as you know, we've just gone midnight now and I'm a bit behind on work, well, very behind, but you know when you've just got to do something. It's Tuesday night and I need to put up a vlog tomorrow because it's Wednesday. It's a vintage Chanel jewelry haul, so it's definitely one to check out. Sorry, I look bloody awful. Um, definitely one to check out. Look at this looking at me, it's so cute. How cute is that? Anyway. Definitely check that out, I'll leave it in the link below. I like to share them in the morning, because I know that a lot of you like watching it on the way to work, or you know, in the morning, I like watching YouTube in the morning. Um, I thought I was gonna have their cups. So yeah, I'm gonna, I, mean, I really need to finish off the video. Paris has done it, I need to check it. I was doing it with him on and off today, and as soon as you check, everything's fine. Uh, so I'll watch that for half an hour, make some notes. Paris will then come in at like 1am and change all them things and then we'll export it and hopefully it'll be up in the morning. Yeah, it should be, but definitely go check it out because it's just a Chanel vintage jewellery and I also style it with different outfits and I show you how you can get really good vintage Chanel jewellery and how you get it and stuff like that. So I'm going to do this and I will see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, so I am a bit more presentable than yesterday. You know that feeling when you haven't well, makeup for a while, it feels really nice. I literally got like a five minute makeup job, but um, it's just as nice as when you have a makeup day off. I've got my trousers undone. So I'm still quite casual because I'm still cleaning. It's kind of me at home outfit. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what I have planned today. Um, that is gonna be in the next vlog. I'm going to do a beauty tidy video and do it a lot more step by step than this one. So make sure that you subscribe and you catch that video next. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna show you the Rizzi Aroma bits that I bought. I know I showed you the shoes, but I didn't show you all of the stuff. Um, and then I'll end that video here. So let's go upstairs. So if you'd like to see how I organize this room, all my knitwear, all of these drawers, all of this, all of this, then catch that in the next video. I am going to show you the Louise Vieroma bits, as promised, because I totally forgot to show you that. I'm going to cut this off because I know some certain people like to presume that I'm filming with the label on to send it back, which is just rubbish. So there you go. So I'm going to try this on for you and then we can finish this vlog. So this is the jacket, it has the signature like Alessandra Rich, um, like crystal detail. I got my nails done by the way yesterday. This is OPI gel. I'm going to leave it in the link below, the description box below what the colour is because I can't remember. But yeah, the signature Alessandra Rich style. And now I'm going to pop it on with some jeans so you can see what it looks like with jeans. And I'll probably style this with a skirt, with a lace dress and hopefully get hopefully get the trousers, so the, the skirt, so let's quickly try this on with jeans. So this is what it looks like with jeans, I've even put my seahorse earrings on for you. Um, and it, it also looks, these are my Ganny jeans which are also from Louisa Via Roma. They look really good with flats as well, what's going on there? Yeah, they look really nice with flats. And I think this will look really nice with a pair of Levi's. Um, and it also looks really nice undone as well. But that's what I got from Louise Aroma. I love the point system on there. After buying all of this, <clears throat> I bought this with a voucher that I was given by them. <clears throat> but I can actually save up my points because um, I also buy a lot of my own stuff on there as well. I don't get a discount with Louise Aroma, but I shop with them for the free shipping and the point system. So every pound you spend, you get a point and then you can redeem that. So soon I'm going to have an, well actually I already have a 500 voucher to spend that's from the point system. But this is the final thing. Should we quickly go and show you the shoes as well? 
you'll know that I unbox those. Shall I quickly put them on for you? We're going to into town now. I'm going to drop off all my bits. I already just dropped off a few to the charity shop, a few bits to my mum. Let's see, look, I love these jeans. I think they're still in stock actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. And what else are we going to do today? Oh, I'll leave in the link below who I'm dropping them off to so you can all go and shop that. Um, yeah, just a busy Friday. I'm going to do my makeup in the car. So any final tips for doing your wardrobe? Start segment by segment. So bit by bit so it's not overwhelming. Um, I always look at something and think, have I worn this in the last year? How do I feel about this when I look at it? Do, does it? If it's sentimental, I always keep something. Then I think how many times I can re-wear it. And if it's none of those things, I'm, I'm really strict and I get rid of it. So they're my top tips. Um, I'm sh hopefully I've showed you a few more in between. Um, yes, that's the end of this vlog. I've already filmed my um, organisation, which is in more depth than this vlog. I've done the organisation of my knitwear wardrobe and my beauty room. It's going to be the next video after this. So make sure you're, you're subscribed. And if you like this video, you'll like that one even more because I did more filming about the organisation because it's a smaller room and easier to tackle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because I'm changing this whole room. Not too much different, but more storage. Sofas go in, new floors are coming in. This is going and um, I'm designing something else, which is what's taking the most time, actually. So lots of exciting things to come for this wardrobe. Um, hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.